We have an optional error handling activity and I'm going to set that up for you and then you'll be able to work through the different steps in the activity guide. So here in the training account under error handling, I'm going to create a new folder to house activity two. Then from the process library, we want to bring in error handling activity two. There is a solution version of this that we'll look at later. But for now, we'll install this one, putting it in our error handling activity two folder. And we can view the process. Now you'll notice the database connector needs to be configured. Uh, it is missing a connection. That connection actually came in with activity one so the database connection Boomi Training MySQL, we're going to click and drag that up to the connections folder. That'll make it a little bit easier to locate. Then here in the start shape, we'll choose from that connections folder Boomi Training MySQL. So this process, we have Acme Engineering, who has implemented a referral program with their distributors and new contacts are coming in from distributors from a variety of sources. They're posted to a database without verification. So this process reads the database records, then maps and posts them to the Salesforce account and contact records. Now due to the varied sources, data quality is an issue, and this process has been failing with different errors. So what you're gonna do is design and implement error handling solution here in the process. The start shape reads the individual documents. The branch shape creates a copy, sending them down path one, where the upsert contact uses an external ID as the upsert key. Here in the second branch, the map will convert from database to uh, XML and then upsert the account if the record doesn't already exist. Let's run a test and then view the results. All right, so we are getting a couple of errors here. The first two documents make it through fine. But then if we look at the third document, we'll see that it's failing in the map due to in, an invalid value here. And then the fourth document is failing here in the Salesforce connector with a bad uh, external ID. So in the activity guide, we have some student design goals, which list the steps that you should take to add error handling to this process. Once you've done that, we'll review together our solution.